All right, what do we got? We are at a 37 degrees, nice and cold, large capacity half. The smaller capacity, we got that chilled to seven. So we are freezing over there. We're plugged into the wall right now and we're pulling about 113 watts of electricity right now. So um, pretty efficient. We've got this side. I took one grate out because I had to get a nice deep storage for a frozen pizza. And we are still very frozen like that. Now for this side, apparently between the two of these things, you can get 113 cans in here. But I wanted to show off the other half of this. Boom. We got ourselves a hitch fire grill all mounted and ready to go. And my favorite part is... <laughs> that was unexpected. But, yeah, wombo combo here. Grill and cooler. Let's do some tailgating. Thank you, Real Truck. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about the ultimate tailgating setup. And to be honest, it'd be great for camping, um, whether like sit with a camper or just driving out to the middle of nowhere with your vehicle and surviving, uh, it would be great. But yeah, uh, kind of the tailgating is the theme for today. Um, Real Truck has got some awesome accessories I want to show you how to get your truck set up to be the most um, stand out at a tailgate event to the point where they're actually going to be giving one away and I'll tell you how to get signed up for that. So let's get right into it. I want to show you all these cool accessories and add-ons and stuff and let you know how to get signed up. So this is Truck Ownership 101. I'm Spencer Elbebach. Class is now in session. All right, before we get started, again, just big shout out to our, kind of our sponsor, Real Truck, for getting us all set up with everything here. Um, if you are interested in purchasing any of these accessories, add-ons, um, please follow my links in the description below the video, and um, they'll take you right to where you need to go. Uh, won't affect your prices on anything, and it actually it'll give me a little bit of a kickback too. So if you appreciate this kind of one-on-one -on -one demonstration with some of these things, if you value that kind of stuff, um, clicking on those is the best way to say thank you. So again, shout out to Real Truck. They partnered with Travis Kelsey, and they helped out somebody in their community. His name was Craig uh, Cummings, and great guy from from everything I watch very deserving of a truck pretty similar to mine I've actually got probably six or seven things on my truck right now uh, that they really decked him out with a with a GMC pickup so um, but now they're doing a ultimate tailgating giveaway where you can go to realtruck.com slash win and you can enter your name information whatever to win um, a 2022 tundra that is decked out with all the cool bells and whistles for tailgating including a lot of the stuff that you're going to see behind me so um, i want to show some of those things off um, if you're interested in any of these little pieces just uh, to purchase for your truck to have like a more standout truck especially at a tailgating event um, just follow the links in the description uh, they'll take you right there and that also helps support the channel so thank you guys in advance for doing that all right, so uh, again, that the Travis Kelsey truck that I saw uh, was very similar to mine, the GM product, but he had a lot of the similar things that I have that I wanted to show you guys since I've got them right here. So let's check those out. So the first thing I noticed on his is, you know, he had a lifted truck, but they did actually have the same wheels as I do, these Nitto Ridge Grapplers. I've had them on for a few thousand miles already, and I love them. Uh, I did get slightly uh, oversized uh, LT275. 65 R20s, which again, it's a 20 inch uh, wheel. Uh, the 275 and 65 is just a ratio of how tall that sidewall is gonna be, how wide they are apart. The problem with going oversized is that as you turn the wheel sharp, you can actually run into and collide with this. So I had to do, I had to go pretty modest. These are just under 35s if you do the math as far as the total height from top to bottom. Uh, but these fit pretty good. I did have to put an extra rivet, you can see there, to really suck this back. And I've been driving them for a while in the right conditions. Like my driveway here, I've got that downward slant. 
And actually, if I have them cranked all the way, not even all the way, it's like 80%. If I crank them all the way, it clears. If I crank them at like 80, 85%, and then I go backwards, I just barely nick. So to be honest, I think most people would say that's good enough. Um, live with that. You got a nice, uh, full looking wheel well there. That's kind of thing when you get big tires, they, they fill that wheel well really nice. So I would recommend that size. You might get a hair rubbing just at that little bit, but after a few thousand miles of driving, the tire wear will wear down a little bit and that'll become much less of an issue. So I would absolutely recommend that size. I didn't have to do any trimming, any cutting. Um, if you got 20 inch wheels, that's the way to go. And I think like I said, the math is 34 and something not quite 35s. They put 35s on Travis Kelsey's truck that he gave away, um, but they put a six inch lift on it. So uh, the two inch lift uh, with a trail boss here, uh, works with this size pretty darn well. The next thing I want to show you guys, and I love this setup. Uh, this is my running board, uh, kind of a bush guard combination. Uh, these are Bushwhacker brand for this extra plastic that you see here. And then I have amp running boards, which I'll open up here so you can see them. Now these amp power step running boards are actually a newer model. They have a different texture, kind of a different shape too as well. They look, they feel great. These are actually app enabled as well. So you can manually have them stay down um, or they can stay up. So if you're like washing your car, going through a car wash and your running boards are really muddy, uh, you can keep them down and they can get clean that way. I've had that issue where they're dirty but they're always up when the doors are closed. And if you're just trying to climb in and out of your truck, do things, wash it by hand, you can have the steps down. Uh, I think one example they came up with is that if you're in some really rough terrain and you open your door, you don't want them coming down and crunching on something. So you could use the app and just keep them up all the time. So um, I actually found that useful. The car wash part was the nicest part of the app that I like. So um, I would recommend these for their just that new, more modern look for the step themselves. They're all aluminum. They, they said they look, feel really solid. And then the app is a nice touch too, so why not? Um, and then like I said, that uh, kind of that guard here, that bushwhacker cover here, I think that's a nice area where my boots would always be scratching coming in and out of here. So that kind of protects that really good. And I just think it really adds to the look. If I close this and these close, I just think that's a great look, especially on a white truck. You already had some little black touches here and there. So would recommend that. I think it just looks a lot cleaner where the color meets there. You don't see any any daylight or light poking out through there anymore. So really nice touch. Amp also comes with these little side steps. But like I said, I think that uh, giveaway or the Travis Kelsey truck, they had those in the back corners, but we already have that step there. So. I thought this was a much better go. And again, for loading this top rack system, um, really nice to have that step here. And for washing the vehicle and everything, that's great. So you can get these on driver's side or passenger side. They're not electrical, which is nice. You don't have to have the doors open or closed to get those out. Um, the Retrax system uh, is also featured in that Travis Kelsey video, um, maybe in the giveaway as well. They actually have this extended and they have a canopy that can swing around for tailgating, which would be pretty awesome. They called it the bat wing where it comes around like 270 degrees. So for, for camping and stuff, uh, having that big rack system, I actually preferred that space for loading bikes. Uh, you could put coolers and stuff up there too as well. So um, like I said, I like it for the bikes and the storage, but if you needed that canopy tailgating kind of thing, that's a really cool system as well. I love the Retrax brand, how that rolls, locks into any position. Um, if you haven't yet, you should subscribe to the channel. Uh, I hear that they're coming out with a newer model and I'm on the list to get one of those uh, and review it for you guys. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, uh, from from what I've been hearing, like I said, it's not out available yet, and I should be getting one of the first ones off the line. Um, sounds like it might be a game changer. So uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks in advance. Uh, anyway, let's get to some cool accessories here. So uh, this guy is definitely getting my attention right now. Uh, this Hitchfire grill setup. 
is was again also featured in both the giveaway and the Travis Kelsey truck and that locks in place there and you could throw that pin in and actually like I, I'd have to change how this is set up but this is actually supposed to be able to go down the highway um, I, I, I would definitely want to try that a little around home first to see how much that rattles but to be fair it actually is pretty solid down here like this is actually threaded you use a 15 16 and that threads inside i've got another b-roll footage of that but yeah that threads in there um, you got the pin lock in that in place and this is rock solid i think i might pop <laughs> the grill off uh, but you can paddle as far as security goes you can padlock it so no one can just take your grill um, very nice looking um, there's a lock up here so again as far as going down the highway it not coming off or at least not jarring open I'm sure it can be done but maybe like so the back of a long pickup truck and leaf springs and stuff maybe it's a little bit of a rattle issue but uh, yeah, again these would fold in of course but and then it actually uses those it has twin propane those little propane bottles you'd put on either side which I think is super slick as far as the getting the volume you need to actually cook for a decent amount of time uh, as you turn these there's a little they popped for the igni ignition system so that's pretty slick as far as a look on the inside of the grill two-year warranty on this grill so like I said to me I might pop the grill off it's got nice little feet for setting it inside the truck or something but as far as a place to put it while you're grilling i'm excited for camping you can see like so i got a pull behind camper so it wouldn't be stored there for travel but once we're camped out at a campsite for a while always finding a place to put your grill that's not on the picnic table and stuff that's a great solution so pretty excited about that you can purchase this for the left hand or right hand swing out so if you wanted it to come out towards the driver's side you would actually purchase a different model so look out for that for camping i kind of like the idea of it being on the campsite side of a camper so i went with this one but um, you got a couple options last thing i want to talk about and this one is actually pretty sick uh, this uh, cooler is a electric cooler you've got uh, ac and dc options for charging it or for running it um, there's solar panels that you could do if like if you're really out there um, now you could hook up a battery system to that if you didn't have power uh, our pickup trucks have the 110 outlet in the back this uses about 100 watts of electricity so similar to like the old school light bulb so not too bad and if we open it up you can see the cooler system holds over a hundred, I don't know if it was 118, over a hundred um, cans of pop, beer, whatever you, whatever you fancy. The two different zones, uh, it can actually get towards freezing. So you could actually put ice cream in one of these, uh, but you can see how this one has a little bit of space removed. And that's where the, the refrigerating kind of unit is on that side. So, um, but yeah, two different temperatures. You all, you can control it all with this digital screen here. I can show some b-roll footage of that running but you know um, you can two, two different sides bluetooth um, wi-fi <laughs> all the stuff there's an app that you can control it you can monitor it if there ever was an issue uh, with something running out of power there's uh, safeties so it can't drain your battery too much on your vehicle um, you can charge a usb device off it but yeah um, you can do the like i said if you're camping you could do the 110 or at least plug it into your vehicle like my pickup truck doesn't have that in the back seat or anything but um yeah you got ac or dc options like i said for camping that sounds great um i think for like my like a garage man cave or something that would be a sweet fridge um it comes with a lifetime warranty on the mechanical stuff and i believe a five-year warranty on the kind of the electrical kind of side of things so uh, it's got lights on the inside of it when you pop it open uh, it's a pretty sick setup it's yeah, it's definitely the most expensive cooler <laughs> i've ever owned uh, but it's definitely the coolest uh, that i've ever owned too so uh, like i said i like the dual temperature controls um, i like how efficient it is like i said the 100 watt light bulb is the amount of power that it can draw peak 
and like it can freeze ice cream for crying out loud so um but yeah that's kind of that's my ideal setup again if you go to realtruck.com slash win to win all of this and a new pickup truck so uh, it's a win there. Uh, it does end, I think, November 2nd. So the, are my first uh, week and a half or so of uh, viewers are the ones that are going to benefit from that. But again, if any of these individual items uh, interest you at all, I'll have links for everything so you know exactly where to go to find exactly what I've got. And again, if you follow those links, that actually helps support the channel too. So thank you guys for following those. It's awesome to be able to check this stuff out and review it for you guys so you guys can make a better informed decision on, on some really nice purchases here. So again, thank you to Real Truck for sponsoring this video. Make it all happen. Uh, until next time, class dismissed.